2023 Dodge Charger is a modern muscle sedan with fire-breathing V8 power and looks that can be over-the-top in SRT trims. It doesn't have many real competitors. But you could look at everything from a Nissan Maxima to a Cadillac CT5 Blackwing if you were in the mood to compare cars. Here's everything you need to know about the 2023 Dodge Charger. But before we start our review, you can file a lemon claim on your car if you bought a bad car and the company that made it won't pay you or give you a new one. You can get a full refund or a cash settlement for your car. All you have to do is click the link in the description and you don't have to pay a single dollar for that. Muscle cars are meant to race around the neighborhood between streetlights and the Dodge Charger has been free for a long time. More than a decade into its current generation, the Charger seems to never age. It comes standard with a 292 HP, V6 and rear wheel drive. And you can add all wheel drive if you need it. Consider this version of the calm older dog of the group. But there is both bark and bite in the Charger family. Step up to the RT trim to get the 5.7 liter V8 engine with 370 HP. Scat Pack models have a 6.4 liter 485 HP V8 that gives them even more power. The wild supercharged Hellcat models get even crazier, but they are reviewed separately. If the Charger drives like an old cop car, that's because it is one. Even though the world is moving toward alternative energy, the Charger keeps going as a sedan version of the gasoline-powered Challenger. One day, cars like the Charger will break every rule, but for now, this V8-powered sedan is still loud and proud. What is new for 2023? For 2023, Dodge has given not-so-subtle hints that the current Charger will be discontinued at the end of this year. As this chapter ends, we expect the next-generation Charger to have an electric powertrain with horsepower at the forefront of the work. The 2023 Charger has special last-call plaques under the hood to show that it is the last model year of the current generation. Dodge will also offer popular colors from the car's past, such as Plum Crazy, B5 Blue, and Sublime Green. All r and models get a new 345 badge on the front fender to honor the Hemi V8 engine that sits under the long, vented hood of the car. Pricing and which one to buy We think the Charger RT, with its 370 HP 5.7 liter V8, has the right amount of power and features. Those who want all-wheel drive can only get the V6 versions. The bigger 485 HP V8 that comes with the Scat Pack makes accelerating great again, but it costs about $5,000 more than the RT. Our choice comes with a standard 8.4-inch Uconnect touchscreen with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. It also has a dual-mode exhaust, a leather-wrapped performance steering wheel, and 20-inch wheels. Engine, Transmission, and Performance The Charger shows its NASCAR roots with a big V8 engine and loud sounds. But not every Charger has a powerful Hemi V8 under the hood, but they all have an excellent 8-speed automatic transmission and standard rear-wheel drive. In contrast, the V6 is quieter, but it does add the option of all-wheel drive. Dodge doesn't make a Charger with a manual gearbox, but it would be so cooler if it did. The standard V6 isn't a slouch, but it doesn't have the get-up-and-go of front drivers like the Nissan Maxima. The more powerful versions do best on the drag strip, where the 485 HP Charger RT Scat Pack posted an impressive 3.8 second sprint to 60 miles per hour. The 370 HP Charger has enough power to beat most family sedans. The bright Charger we drove around town was quiet and calm. Its large 20-inch wheels were comfortable on most surfaces, but obstacles like railroad crossings and potholes threw it off. The big-bodied sedan was also very well balanced when turning corners even though the V6 version we tested had almost the same cornering grip. Daytona's huge horsepower advantage made it more fun. The electrically assisted power steering helps the Charger be easy to control, but its feedback is too slow and heavy to be engaging. We've tested several charges to see how well they stop in an emergency. The best results came from the high-performance models with upgraded brakes and stickier summer performance tires. Fuel economy and real-world miles per gallon. The Charger is a big, heavy car with a big appetite for gas, even though it has below average EPA, estimates in the city, it has pretty good highway ratings. We haven't tested the 5.7 liter V8 on our real world fuel economy route at 75 miles per hour, but we have tested the V6 with all wheel drive and the bigger 485 HP V8. Surprisingly, both engines were within 1 mpg of each other. The 6 got 26 mpg on the highway and the 8 got 25 mpg. Visit the EPA's website to learn more about the Charger's fuel economy. Car Interior, Comfort and Cargo The Charger's interior is very practical but not all luxurious, with more rubberized materials than the set of an adult film. 
Aside from the back seats, which have a lot of legroom, its passenger space is slightly below average. The cabin is simple, like a classic muscle car, but there are many options. Even though its trunk space is like that of most competitors, the Charger was able to fit one more carry-on box than its competitors. When the back seat was folded down, it could hold 18 people, which was three more than both the Maxima and the fast-back hatchback Kia Stinger. In center console, has a lot of space for small items and a slot next to the shifter that is perfect for putting your phone. Infotainment and Connection Every Challenger has a version of the excellent Uconnect entertainment system. That means Apple CarPlay and Android Auto come standard on a 7.0-inch or 8.4-inch touchscreen. Even though the system we tested had good response times, some optional controls can only be accessed via the touchscreen, and there is no Wi-Fi hotspot. Safety and Driver Assistant Features the big Dodge sedan does have a lot of driver assistance technology, like adaptive cruise control and automatic emergency braking. However, these features cost extra, and the most advanced options are not available on base models. Visit the website of the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration, NHTSA, and Insurance Institute for Highway Safety, IIHS, to find out how the Charger did in crash tests. Key safety features are, blind spot monitoring and rear cross-traffic alert are both available. Warning for leaving your lane and help staying in your lane are available. Forward collision warnings are available. Warranty and service coverage. Dodge's limited and powertrain warranties are about the same as Maxima's, but the Kia Cadenza has a much longer powertrain warranty and the Toyota Avalon offers free maintenance. The limited warranty covers 3 years or 36,000 miles. The powertrain warranty covers 5 years or 60,000 miles. No free scheduled maintenance. So that's it for today. Buying a new car has a lot of benefits, but two of the most important ones are that it's easy to take care of and doesn't need repairs as often. But you should talk to a good lemon law lawyer right away if you have a lemon that doesn't work the way the maker said it would. If you have a lemon car and the makers are not compensating you, just click on the link given in the description. And don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel and press the bell icon for all the latest updates. Thank you so much for watching.